Acne on the buttocks is caused by a condition where hair follicles become inflamed due to bacteria penetrating the skin. Acne or bumps on the butt can also be caused by blocked hair follicles. While blocked hair follicles cause acne on the buttocks, it's important to understand the reason why your follicles are getting blocked in the first place to be able to treat the resulting bumps. Sweat After a sweaty session at the gym, you should always change your clothes and take a shower. Sweat clogs the pores as it dries, trapping dirt and other bacteria that may be on the surface of the skin. This can be prevented by taking a shower or using sanitary wipes to get rid of dirt if a shower isn't an option. Be sure to change your clothes and wear fabrics that allow the skin to breathe during exercise. The fit of your clothes. Clothes that are too tight can cause friction that traps sweat and dirt in the pores, causing folliculitis. Irritation from wearing tight leggings or jeans can cause inflammation, leading to bumps on the buttocks. Tight leggings and jeans made from fabric that aren't sweat-wicking or breathable typically exacerbate the condition, causing more bumps. Not wearing fresh underwear. Changing your underwear every day is essential. If you don't change your underwear, oil and sweat can end up getting pressed up against the skin, causing inflammation in the hair follicles. This happens when fuller coverage underwear made with fabrics like polyester or nylon, which don't allow for sweat to evaporate from the body. Hormones. Hormones may determine if you're more or less at risk for butt acne. During the menstrual cycle, more sebum may be produced in excess quantities, causing blocked hair follicles and bumps to form on the buttocks. Shaving. Shaving incorrectly may cause clogged follicles due to inflammation. Poor shaving can also allow for bacteria to enter the follicles. Most folliculitis is caused by staph bacteria on the skin. While these bacteria are mostly harmless, when shaving, they can enter the skin and cause butt acne to form. There are different treatments that can be used to get rid of acne on the buttocks. Once you've determined the cause, you can figure out the best natural treatment, which we'll discuss next. Practice good personal hygiene. Another way to avoid butt acne is to shower frequently and ensure that you're washing your buttocks. Use an antibacterial wash to get rid of bacteria and sweat that may be sitting on top of the skin. This is especially important after a workout or heavy periods of activity. When the bacteria sits on the skin, it's more likely to enter the hair follicles and infect them, causing bumps. Tea tree oil. Using tea tree oil may help with butt acne. Tea tree oil contains antibacterial properties that have been used for years to help treat skin infections. You can apply this oil to your buttocks to help with the appearance of red bumps. To use tea tree oil to help prevent or aid the appearance of butt acne, add a few drops of tea tree oil to aloe vera gel and apply to the affected area. You may also dilute the oil with water before applying it to the area. It's important to dilute the oil as in its pure form it's too potent and could cause irritation. Change washing products. Acne on the buttocks can be caused by a reaction to washing products, especially fabric softeners. By switching washing products, you can determine if you have a skin sensitivity that may be causing the acne. Saltwater solution. Using a saltwater solution can also help with folliculitis. Use a washcloth to apply a saltwater solution to treat butt acne. Salt water is commonly used for people with sensitive skin to treat infections as it flushes the wound and helps with swelling. The best salt water solution for butt acne is made by mixing one teaspoon of salt with a cup of warm water. The antibacterial properties of salt water should help ease the appearance of butt acne. Avoid exfoliation. Dark spots on the buttocks can actually be made worse by excess exfoliation. While you may think that you're helping to get rid of dead skin cells or bacteria that are sitting on the skin, Exfoliating can irritate and inflame the skin further, causing butt acne to appear larger and redder. If you're using natural exfoliating ingredients, be sure to keep this to the areas of the skin that are not as sensitive, such as the legs and arms. Next, we'll look at how to get rid of dark spots and scars on the buttocks. Dark spots are caused by hyperpigmentation, which occurs because of increased skin irritation. Dark spots on the buttocks may be due to scarring from acne that was previously on the skin. The scarring can have hyperpigmentation, which causes a dark appearance on the skin, 
This is typically caused by not treating your acne properly or picking at it instead of letting it heal naturally. Scarring occurs from over-scrubbing, skin irritation, and over-exfoliating of these areas. Scarring may cause dark spots and hyperpigmentation to occur on the skin, but it may also be from a trauma to the area. Scarring and dark spots are similar in makeup and therefore require similar treatments to help with their appearance. Leaving acne alone. Popping folliculitis bumps is the biggest cause of scarring and dark spots on the butt. It's important to leave acne bumps alone and don't treat them like a typical pimple. If you pop a folliculitis bump, it may cause bacteria to spread and infect the skin further. Lemon juice. Lemon juice is a natural lightening agent that may help with the appearance of hyperpigmentation from scarring on the buttocks. To apply lemon juice, take one lemon and squeeze it into a small bowl. Add an equal amount of water and soak cotton pads in the solution. Place a cotton pad onto the area of hyperpigmentation and leave for 20 minutes before rinsing with water. It may take around two to four weeks of consistent treatments to see results using this method. It's important to be consistent, but not overuse lemon juice as it may irritate the skin if left overnight. Aloe vera. Aloe vera contains a compound called aloin, which naturally lightens the skin. To use aloe vera to treat dark spots on the buttocks, apply to the area of hyperpigmentation and leave overnight, rinsing in the morning. Repeat until the hyperpigmentation is no longer noticeable. Green tea. Green tea may be used to help with the appearance of hyperpigmentation, as research has shown that it has a depigmenting effect. To use green tea to help with the appearance of dark spots, soak a tea bag in hot water and leave it to cool slightly. Lay the tea bag over the area with dark spots and leave for 20 to 30 minutes at a time. Repeat until the desired effects are reached. Cucumber. Cucumber is another lightening agent. When mixed with Greek yogurt, it can help reduce the appearance of dark spots and scarring on the buttocks. Blend one cucumber down to a paste and mix it with a few tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Apply the paste to the affected area and leave it on the skin for 20 to 30 minutes. Rinse with water, but not soap. Repeat as needed. Apple Cider Vinegar Apple cider vinegar is an effective natural treatment for many ailments, including butt breakouts. Mix one part apple cider vinegar to three parts water and dab onto the scars and dark spots. Apple cider vinegar has antibacterial properties that will help prevent further infection. Its acne-fighting and acidic properties help with hyperpigmentation. To conclude, by taking preventative measures, it's possible to get rid of butt acne, dark spots, and scars at home. Make sure you're wearing breathable fabrics that allow sweat to evaporate off the body. If you're looking to get rid of dead skin cells, make sure to exfoliate very gently and don't scrub your butt too harshly. Practice good personal hygiene and take showers after exercise or heavy workouts. Home treatments for butt acne, dark spots, and scarring include natural remedies that are antibacterial and help with hyperpigmentation. Using lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and salt water solutions, can help treat the underlying issues caused by infected hair follicles on the butt. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to get rid of boils on the inner thighs and buttocks naturally. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.